Ladies, y'all want to know the secret to finding out if a man really like you? And no, it's not him taking you on an expensive date and spending a lot of money. No, it's not how much he calls. It's not even how much time he spends with you. Because sometimes they be bored and they just want a space filler, okay? The real test is if he comes into your life and tries to solve a problem for you. But that doesn't always necessarily mean that somebody likes you. That just means you know that he was raised right. Listen, I'll put, bullshit. Let me I'll, tell you something. I'll put your brakes on. Look, let me tell you knock something. the brakes <laughs> off. Yeah, <man. laughs> Two things. If you tell a man that you got issues, like you listen here, such and such, everything going bad, and that motherfucker say, "Damn, that's fucked yeah. up." <laughs> <laughs> that means the motherfucker don't like you. <laughs> Damn, they don't like you. If you go, Tay, how do you know if a man like you, Tay? I don't know. You tell me. Wait, what? Wait, no, let's find out. How do you? We asking you. I don't know. There's so many mixed signals with these guys. Oh, these my God, man. We're peanut at, man. We're peanut on. It's this Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Ladies, y'all want to know the secret to finding out if a man really like you. And no, it's not him taking you on an expensive date and spending a lot of money. No, it's not how much he calls. It's not even how much time he spends with you. Because sometimes they be bored and they just want a space filler, okay? The real test is if he comes into your life and tries to solve a problem for you. That man that likes me came by my house yesterday because we were going to do a little day date. And as I was walking out of the garage, he noticed that my garage light didn't illuminate. It didn't come on because the bulb been out. Who knows how long? It's never worked since I've had the house. And as soon as he seen it, he was like, your light don't work. I'm like, no, I ain't thinking nothing about it. He go over there, pop the little thing down, put a little bulb out. We're going to stop and get a light bulb because you need a light in your garage. That man is gonna come into your house and he gonna start seeing stuff. Like, why is this smoke detector beeping? Let me get up here and fix it. See, y'all be thinking that it's the amount of money that they spend. Y'all think that these men like you because they wanna have sex with you. That's why they always wanna be around you. No, 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 no. A man who comes into your life and tries to solve a problem without being prompted. You didn't even have to say, hey, can you look at this light? No. A man who really like you, he gonna come in there, he gonna fix that thing. Could be anything. I'm trying to tell you, men, if I'm telling the truth, let me hear it in the comments. Mm -hmm. if, I'm just, if I just met you and I don't know you, how the hell you at my house to even know that my light mm -hmm. is out? Well, remember, they, they were going out on a day date. <laughs> going out on no date date? You ain't at my house? Well, maybe she knows longer. you there. Just because you live like a CIA. <laughs> everybody else ain't like that. Yeah, I mean, Some people are a little trustworthy, okay? <laughs> um... Uh, um <laughs> over there fucking miss espionage over here M listen melvin just hey. was coming to the to, to date that young lady oh yeah man. i mean you know he saw that light was out. i was like yo let me you know let me fix your joint you know listen yeah. <laughs> yeah but that doesn't always necessarily mean that somebody likes you that just means you know that he was raised right listen i'll yeah, put bullshit let me I'll, tell you something i'll put your brakes on <laughs> look let me tell knock you the brakes <laughs> off <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> two things if you tell a man that you got issues like you listen here such and such, everything going bad, and that motherfucker say, "Damn, that's fucked yeah. up." <laughs> <laughs> that means the motherfucker don't like you. <laughs> damn, they don't like you. If cool you go, damn, yeah, you still ready to go out? <laughs> if you say, "Damn," <laughs> you all right now? <laughs> So yeah, we still good for Thursday, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? I mean, that motherfucker ain't with you. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I know me. If you know, what I mean, I like a girl. I mean, you know, I, I do shit like that. Oh damn! You know, this is bro. Let me fix this. You know, um, damn. Let me. You know, what I mean, you know, yo, your door not about to fall off. Let me fix mm -hmm. that. Yo, you know, yo, yo. Let me knock that dust off your coochie. Oh, <laughs> See, I mean, it's always something. Always something. I mean, always something. I mean, let me knock the dust off your mother. Your, uh, <laughs> your ceiling fan. Your ceiling fan. <laughs> It's always something. As a matter of fact, let me get that room. Look at that ceiling fan. Because after, after yeah. I clean this all, I'm, I'm, we don't be on the ceiling fan. Yeah, I mean, I ain't done with your coochie. <laughs> but but all right, look, look, let's go to the comment. So the first comment from Mel Johnson, the second. A real man will protect and provide. That he, okay, I that's, agree with that. That's correct. I agree with that. It, you, do you, and, and that's what I have experienced. Yes, not necessarily a man that does something for you because it's yeah. superficial. Yeah, you agree with that? With that comment? And he still 
want some M's. Yes. <laughs> we will protect, provide, collide, divide, whatever them odd words is, just so we can slide. Not <laughs> so, everybody. Then, yeah. Not everybody is out for that. This not is everybody. not a general thing. This is okay. not, it's not for the majority. So we got a second comment from David Chadwick. You're right. My wife never pumps gas. Doesn't worry about tire pressure, oil, etc. Because I proactively mm-hmm. look for ways to make her life easier. That's how my ex was. And I, I didn't to- have to do a thing. And I totally believe that what he's saying is 100% true. But also because... It's, it's ways that she does the same thing for him. Mm-hmm. He probably does it first, but he wouldn't have said that if she was just a selfish. It's, a, it's an equal give and take. Yeah. Equal yeah. give and take, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But I think now a lot of these modern women they get they get confused where they think that every man is supposed to be a provider protector. Yo, I just I don't know. Yeah, you. It's like, or, is that, that man don't what? know you? He yeah, not it's like why well, I gotta provide or, for you and I ain't even we ain't even in no relationship. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> or it's I gotta do X Y and Z, jump through hurdles. I gotta be an Olympic hurdler. And then you hit me with the, oh, well, I'm not doing wifey stuff. So what do you think this is? Yeah. I'm doing husband stuff. Yep. So I got to do husband stuff. But you, you, oh, that's not, I'm not doing that till I'm a wife. It's just, it's stupid. Modern, not all modern women, but modern women are delusional. It just doesn't make sense. In the world that we live in, it's give and take. Yeah, yeah, and mostly man. the men give it up yeah. first. You, we got to give it up first. We take you out on a date. And like, come on, it just be. Listen, let me tell you something. Weird. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to. Men are men. Us, uh, us men are actually the romantic. Yeah, yeah right. No, we are. Not all y'all. Not all of us, but nope. but men are. They yeah. do have the romance. Yeah, men have romance. Men, men are. I, very I honestly believe men more, think about more the romance. Women, more women be, are from or in those romantic uh, feelings. Phases, yes, before more than men are. Yes. And then the next day, y'all are right out of that shit. Asking for a divorce. <laughs> because obviously you picked the wrong goddamn woman. Especially a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's not put no color to it. Let's not put no let's not put no color to it, okay? Shot shots fired. Because it ain't got nothing to do Shots fired. with the color of the some person's skin, okay? I know, I know. You gotta look be beyond the skin. <sighs> Let me find out. Coochie, uh, uh, Lowstone took a, a, a coochie break. Like he keep wiping his mouth. And, <laughs> y'all, did y'all know that he was going off the screen for about a minute? <laughs> was it good? Keep though? it ready, baby. <laughs> keep it ready. Listen, that, that mom said, "I finally got that kids back in school." <laughs> <laughs> Had to make a little detour. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So we got next comment. So next comment from Black. What's good? You giving them too much game. Cold part about they're still not going to listen. Now that, now that black, you hit the nail on the head. Well, I said, well, I say it's too going. much game because I mean, there's people know about that, but at the end of the day, yeah, he's right. Like you got a lot of women that don't like to listen. They just want to do what they want to do. But he's right because a lot of women don't experience. I, I I talk to my cousin like once or twice a week, and she talks about all these women that she know who like literally are surrounded by bums who don't do anything. So like, yeah, that's really that's because is the they game. choose to be surrounded by bums. But I mean, even still, choice or not, it's like. In their in their experience, there's a lot of guys who just don't do nothing. So he is giving game because, like, I, I I feel the same way. If I like you, I might you know replace your car key because you lost it. But if I don't like you, girl, you better get on the bus. Yeah, yeah. I ain't getting on nobody's bus because I got my own vehicles. No, I'm saying she got her own vehicle and she lost her car key. And she's like, oh, can you give me two fifty to get a new one? Nope. Because at the end of the day, the one thing that I've always done, I always got two sets of keys. And I always had money. And even when I didn't have a car, which was so long ago, I always made sure if I was going somewhere with somebody, I always had enough money to get me a, a, a car ride or, or um, was it a cab ride? That's before Uber and Lyft. Damn, you was riding in cabs? See? <laughs> yes, I was. Damn. Hater. Lois just always oh, got hate. Sorry. He always <laughs> hating. <laughs> nah, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to say nothing. We're going to go right to the last comment. Of this video, mm-hmm. Jr. What's popping, Jr. Facts. You know a man when you you'll know when a man likes you when he does all of those things unprompted. Men will go far and out of his way to fix things you weren't even thinking about just because he likes you the real way, mm-hmm. and that's because that's the only way we know our worth. 
Like, cause women, women, if you just a regular guy and you just nice and women will overlook you until you do something for them. It's like, I always say, when do women just like men just for the guy that he is? Not what he does, mm -hmm. not what he provides monetarily, mm -hmm. not if he can what the, fix. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? Like not if he fixes something or whatever. Why do you do you See, just like him? Because he's just a nice person <laughs> and he's intelligent smacked. and all. It normally has to be oh yeah he he bought me groceries he took me on a date he is something he had to provide for you for you mm -hmm. to like him. Why you can just like him because he's just a nice person. Why can't y'all just like women well, just, I, just to be I, 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 just to that? be nice instead of winning I, games? I, I, <laughs> That's all y'all talk but, about. But listen, you and Lowe's. That's all friendship. That's all you and Lowe's talk about, the yams. But the difference is <laughs> the yams. we putting out before we get the yams. <laughs> We're not the ones receiving first. <laughs> we receive last. <laughs> Ain't no friendship really? without them yams. See? See? See what I'm talking about? Can I get to the yams? <laughs> Sweet yams. <laughs> oh, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. Yeah, I mean, talk what you think. Goddamn.